guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, I have made it a 2019 resolution to get better at gouache. Now, I've, I'm completely obsessed with it. Ever since I started using it and I did a product review on this gouache, I have been obsessed. And I'm just, I just, it's a lot like watercolor and at the same time, it's not. It has a totally different outcome and look to it when you're finally finished the piece. So I wanted to go ahead and I drew a couple of Disney characters. Here you can see I am doodling Ariel and Eric. Now, when I do the gouache pieces, I still do the basic process of going in and doing the background and then focusing on different parts of the characters. So I went in and I did skin. Now, it's interesting because, you know, gouache is a lot thicker than watercolor. I would usually save skin colors and like adding the skin until very last because I would be so scared of adding color and then the color going into the skin color that's already done and it would ruin the skin on my character. So I was always afraid of that. But now it doesn't seem that way with gouache, which makes me really happy. And I really like that I can, there's just different types of layers that I can add to gouache. You're probably wondering why am I drawing Ariel and Eric in gouache and why why are they so small? Well, this time last year I made little mini watercolor characters to take with me to Walt Disney World. And what I did at Walt Disney World was I took them to their designated spots at, and I just took a little picture of these little gouache paintings next to their rides. And I, I really had a lot of fun last year that's when I got my first annual pass to Walt Disney World and I was just excited because I went in about five times and I was just happy to be able to walk back in and out as much as I wanted. So that's what I was planning to do was just go in and take these videos of where these characters would go in their designated area around the Magic Kingdom. I had a lot of fun with that last year and just being able to post those on Instagram and share with everybody else on Artemino and Instagram, just showing everybody, oh, I was at the Magic Kingdom and I went ahead and I took them to their spots where they belong. It, it was just fun because with these pieces of artwork, it's, it's a lot of fun if you ever go to Disney World or Disneyland and you take your pieces of artwork and you take a picture of them in those interesting designated spots where they're from, it's, it becomes a little bit more special. And that's what I love, love doing when I do these kinds of videos is it means a lot more to put something I created, these characters, and putting them in a real life setting. and. That's what I, I really love about it. And I did this for Inktober and I did it another time. I'm not sure, but I just, it is, it's fun to do this. Now I've seen a lot of people who do this kind of technique where they put like a really thick outline. Like you see, I've done this around Cinderella. She's looking at her dress. It's a thick color outline. Now I've done this a ton before and I see this a lot when it comes to gouache paintings and it makes the character stand out more. So if you're starting out with gouache or anything, I mean, I used to do this to my Copic markers. It's just, I'm pretty minimalistic when it comes to backgrounds and it's something I do have to focus on a little bit more and more into the future with my art is working on backgrounds, more detailed backgrounds. But if you wanna hurry up and make a piece, I always do that solid line around them and just to make it a little bit more mystical in a way. And you can see I did start with the skin once again. And something else that I'm having a lot more fun with is incorporating more purple into the skin tones. I, I do this on digital art where I incorporate the skin tones and add purple or shading and it actually looks really good on them. And it's just, it's a natural shadow because if we look at shadows, instead of seeing that the blacks and that you think that you see when you're shading your characters. Look at it in a different way because most shadows, instead of them being a pitch dark black, a lot of them have soft hues of blues and purples. So I always, always just incorporate that. And you can see I incorporated that into Cindy's skin, just giving her more purple shade skin tones as opposed to going in there with a black or a really dark brown. It's just a different way to approach 
shading their skin tones. So here we have Cindy. It was really crowded that day. <laughs> and we have Cindy. It was funny because when I went into Walt Disney World this past week, it was really crowded. And I was so confused because it was crowded like it was Christmas time. And I was really confused as to why are there so many people here when it's after the holidays? It's the first week. It was, yeah, it was the, it was about a week and a half into the new year. And I was just thinking, okay, I mean, I understand that the Christmas decorations are up, but why are there so many people? Um, we later found out that it was actually because, uh, whatchamacallit, they were having some dining specials and all these families decided, well, they weren't going to pass up this deal, so that's why it was so crowded, but that's why there were so many people around the castle. But I was really happy I got to go in this time of year because it's so early, as in, you know, it's not the second week of January, it's the first week of January of 2019, and even though it's after Christmas, Disney is awesome enough to leave up their Christmas decorations. So I got to run around and see all the amazing Christmas decorations. I mean, everywhere. We went to Animal Kingdom, too, and they had their Christmas decorations up. It made me so happy because I really wanted to go to Mickey's Christmas party, and I just didn't have time. Usually my job gets way too crazy when it comes to going and visiting visiting the Magic Kingdom at Christmas time. I mean, I feel like everybody's life gets super crazy around Christmas and I can't imagine the parks and how crowded they are. I mean, Halloween is crowded. I can't imagine Christmas time. <laughs> but yes, so you see I have Rapunzel once again. Now this is original concept art uh, created by Glenn Keane and it was different. It was one of the original like looks to Rapunzel and I went ahead and I added my own little twist to it and here we are. We have the lantern scene in Rapunzel. Well guys, I hope you're having a good new year so far. I hope you enjoyed this cute little doodle video. Have a most wonderful day. 